Okay, so the last thing that I need to do to get this board together really is get these inserts in here and create an overall existing frame. That overall existing frame is going to be really easy. It's going to be essentially the same thing as what we're doing for the veneer border, only we're just projecting that out a half inch. So I'm going to leave that out of the video uh, for the time being. What I'm going to do is create this insert. It's only going to be one part, but what we're going to do with it is um, we're going to create one pattern and we're going to flip that pattern over so that they kind of finger join in together. Okay, so the first things first, what I want to do is create uh, a new part. So we'll come up to create, and this is going to be, we're going to call this um, veneer insert. Okay, so it's going to ask me to put this on a plane. Uh, what's the best plane to do this on for the time being? Probably, well, it might get a little muddy. I'm going to do this in wireframe and do this on the outside for the time being. So we'll pick this plane here and now we need to create a sketch. So let's create this sketch on that same outside plane as well and once I get the part created I'm going to change the constraints so that it, it moves over appropriately. Okay, so basically what I'm doing is I'm creating an outline with a notch in it and then we're going to repeat that pattern. So first things first we need to get some uh, projected geometry in here. So I'll grab that line there and this line here if I can and this should be enough. So we'll start by creating some lines. We're going to start this one over. We're going to actually put the dimension in here for 1.5 and then we're going to come down an eighth of an inch. It's point, uh, 0 0.0625. No. Yes, point zero six two five. that this was a quarter so that's actually an eighth that we're coming down and then the next one is going to go all the way over so that'll be 0 0.0625 and then this is going to come all the way over here close that up finish okay so all I got to do now is just extrude that out the same amount okay and then what we want to do is again create another pattern of this piece so uh, let's go to our patterns going to grab this feature now instead and we'll go in this direction and so that is going to be 1.5625 I believe let's just take a look at that in ortho so we know okay and now we'll just repeat that eight times eight times. Oh, this last one here. Okay. So, rather than modify the sketch, what I'm going to do is come into this last piece here, and I'm just going to remove that. So I'm going to make a box. Nope. I'm not going to make a box. I'm going to put it right here and I'm just going to take that geometry out with a subtract. That's an easy way to do it. Okay, so I'll finish that sketch and extrude that. Go in the other direction so it takes everything away. And now I should have that piece that I need.
good to me. Okay, so I'll return that. So now that that's in place, let's take a look at how it's constrained in there. So right now it's to the outside. So where's the, the constraint on that is this flush. Let's see if we can back that up um, just enough. So we'll call this minus 1.5 inches. We'll see where that goes. No, we're going to need a little bit more, so let's try this. So that was the uh, the plane that we needed to back up. Okay, so what we can do now is create that pattern so that this goes all the way across. Okay, so we're going to grab this pattern uh, using this component. We'll choose again a direction. So let's we don't want that two. We want it again to be. 1.625 no sorry in this situation we only want that to be f there we go did I get that right? okay perfect so we've got that lined up properly we'll come over to the pattern and just edit that with the right amount of inserts so that should be 7 I believe Okay, perfect. Now the next thing to do um, is basically place a new one in here. So we'll come to place and we should have, no, it's not saved yet. So um, we'll save this. It's going to ask about the new veneer insert. We'll say okay. We do want that saved so now we can place one veneer insert so I'll just place that anywhere in there for the time being because what I'm going to need to do is is modify this so that the this face here is flush with the top so why don't I uh, just rotate this first so I'll come over to component I'm just selecting the component right clicking on it and um, free rotate sorry it took me a little while so just want to rotate that somewhat to where I want it to be okay so now I'm just gonna do some uh, simple placing for this thing I want uh, some constraints here for say the top of this one to the top here want that to be flush okay now we need the angles to be correct, so let's do an opposing face make constraint from this face to this face here. Okay, we'll apply that. And then the last one that I want is going to be opposing from this outside face. to this outside face as well. Did that not? Nope. Still got to select this other one. I thought I already had it, but I must have goofed. Okay, so there's something happen in here. Actually it's probably just the work planes that are, are doing that. So I've got this one here. Now I'll, like, all I have to do is create that same pattern that I just created only in the opposite direction. 
So let's do that quick and we'll be done with our chessboard. Select the component. Grabbed it. We want to go in the other direction at 1.625. No. 56. And we want seven of these as well. Okay, so now we've got that all configured the way we want. Do we want to see all these work planes in here? No, not really. So let's take the visibility off on those. And there is a way, I believe, of hide work features. Oh, that only hides them in the browser. But um, you could do, you can come in here, I guess there's these work features that are, are buried in the veneer insert. Those can come out as well. Um, but uh, again, we're going to take this into a drawing in the next video. And you'll see how we can get all these parts dimensioned up and, and nicely laid out. So that if you were to send this to a manufacturer, they'd have all the information that they need. So stay tuned for that one. We'll be right back.